This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Hello, my name is Brad, and today I am taking a look at this. This is XP Pen's new Deco LW Pen Tablet. XP Pen sent this over to me to take a look at it, so that's what we're gonna be doing. This isn't going to be a super thorough review like some of my reviews, but I am gonna be plugging it into a computer, testing it out, taking it through its paces, and just showing you guys what this is all about. Now, I wanted to start with showing you what's in the box, doing a quick unboxing, but uh, before I do, I do want to tell you that uh, I may have messed up the footage the first time. So this is not an actual unboxing. This is like a secondary unboxing. So if you don't see all the fancy plastic wrappings in there, that's why. So let's take a look. All right, so the first thing you need to know about this is this is a pen tablet. Now this is a category of drawing devices that is screenless, so that makes it more inexpensive than some of the other stuff out there. And usually one of these things sits next to your computer or directly in front of your computer and you draw on it with a pen and you can see in front of you on the screen the lines appearing. And you get things like pressure sensitivity and you get things like tilt control and, and you get a lot of those features in a more inexpensive, more affordable package. This isn't the cheapest one out there. It has some extra bells and whistles packed in there. The main thing that it's adding in here is this is a Bluetooth tablet. So you can use it with the USB wire that is included in the box. However, there's a little adapter do hit add that you can plug into the side of your computer and use this wirelessly instead. Let me flip this over and uh, show you a couple of the features. So first of all, when XP Pen first wrote me, they said, hey, uh, do you want to test this out? I said, sure. They said, what color do you want? I never answered that email because I'm really bad at email. I'm sorry. This does come in a couple different colors. This one is black, which is probably the one I would have picked anyway. Um, it also comes in pink, green, and blue. I do have to say the blue, blue is pretty cool. This is what is considered a medium sized tablet. The, the active drawing area is 10 inches wide by six inches high. So, so that's a good size. Uh, when I place this in front of a 15 inch laptop, I find that it covers most of the keyboard to kind of give you a sense of scale. You're gonna see that when I demo it in a bit. And of course the pen has tilt, that's 60 degrees of tilt and over 8,000 levels of pressure sensitivity, which is pretty standard in most pen tablets these days. The other big thing I'm gonna be talking a lot about when we get to the drawing test is that this is powered by their X3 technology, which I'm, I'm only a little bit lukewarm on, so I do wanna kind of test that out. It does some things really well. There's some other things where I feel like it could do better, so. So we'll talk about that. So with that said, let's uh, let's get this thing flipped over and uh, let's get this box open. So first thing you're gonna notice when you open this box is you're gonna have the tablet itself right here. Let's pull this thing out. I don't know why it was stuck like that for a minute. Anyway, yeah, so you can see your live drawing area here, the, the 10 inches by six inches. Uh, you have your eight shortcut keys along the side. There's some little dots on there. I don't know if that's actual braille or if that's just kind of letting you know where your thumb is resting, but it lets you kind of get a feel for it if you're not looking directly at your pen. If you're looking at that screen, you can feel those buttons uh, by feel. It is very thin. Uh, it is a nice plastic shell. Uh, I don't know how well that's going to show up on camera, um, but yeah, we have our on and off switch, our USB-C port along the side, which it connects to. Very thin, very light. This is very portable. It'd be very easy to take something like this and pop it in a bag if you're traveling to work every day. Let's see what else we have in our box. We have the USB-C cable that connects it. This is also used for charging. Since this is a wireless Bluetooth device, it could be used wirelessly. Um, you do need to charge it from time to time. It says that it gets about 10 hours of charge. That sounds about right to me, and they consider that to be continual use. It is a USB type A port to a USB type C port. The type C goes into the tablet itself. The type A goes into your computer. If you do not have a uh, type A port, I do not. I have type C ports on my Macs. Uh, they, they give you some adapters here. We have a little plastic bag. Let's see if I could get it open on camera. Oh, I can. Look at how talented I am. I just can't get the things out of it. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, so this is our USB type A to USB type C. So that's gonna be one adapter. Uh, this is a secondary adapter. This is a different USB type micro USB, I think is what this is. A lot of Android phones use this type of adapter. This device also works on Android. A little more limited than what you might find on Mac or Windows, but it does work on Android. And then of course we have the adapter. So even though this is Bluetooth, it's not 
pure Bluetooth. I don't know if that, that's a thing, pure Bluetooth. <laughs> you need the adapter in order to use the Bluetooth is what I'm saying. And then of course we have some extra nibs and we have a little ring which will allow us to pull the nibs out. So if you're a heavy drawer and you go through nibs and you put a lot of friction on those, um, you can replace them. That is something I didn't really mention is that there is a nice textured surface. It's smooth, but uh, when you're using the pen, uh, you can kind of kind of feel it dragging. It feels really good on the surface. I already took the pen out, but this is the pen. You're gonna be talking about this a lot in a little bit, but it's got two little buttons on it. Um, no eraser or anything, just, just a nice, solid, well-weighted pen. And then we have some uh, quick start guides and things like that. There is a quick start guide for Android and there is a quick start guide for like Windows and Macs and that sort of thing and our little warranty card. So that is what is in the box. Next up is the drawing test. We're gonna actually get in the weeds and, and try this thing out. Before we do that, I do wanna thank today's sponsor, Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful Beautiful online presence and run your business. Squarespace has the tools you need to get your business off the ground, including e-commerce templates, inventory management, a simple checkout process, and secure payments. Whatever you sell, Squarespace has the merchandising features that you need to make your products look their best online. All websites are optimized for mobile devices. Your content automatically adjusts so your site looks good anywhere. Grow and engage your audience with Squarespace's email campaigns. Create powerful email content that matches your website with your existing products, blog posts, and logo so your message is consistent and effective. Check out squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash bragcolbo to save 10% on your first purchase of a website or domain. All right, so I have the Deco LW here. Uh, I tested it out a little bit off camera just to kind of get used to it. It takes me a little bit of time to get used to drawing on something like this. You do have to build up some eye-hand coordination since you're looking at the screen and drawing down here. The first time I was, uh, I was testing it out, I was just playing around and trying to get used to it and, uh, and also testing it out wired and unwired and it feels pretty much identical you know, on both sides, whether it's wired or whether I'm using the Bluetooth dongle like I am doing right now. And sketching feels pretty good. It's, I'd probably have to play with it for another hour or two before I get used to really, you know, inking in it and feeling comfortable in it. But overall, this feels identical to the pens that I tested last fall when XP Pen kind of rolled out their new uh, version three technology that they're using in this pen. So let me toggle off that layer. We'll jump to another one and I'll show you what I'm talking about. First of all, I like to check out the pressure sensitivity and the pressure sensitivity is really good on this. If you draw really lightly, you get really light lines. And as you apply more pressure, you get darker or thicker lines depending on the you know Photoshop brush that you're using. I think the pressure in this is great, especially that initial activation rate is, I am drawing super light and I'm getting a super light line. So what they've done is they've improved the low end of the, of the pressure spectrum on the pen. So if you are a very light drawer, this is a fantastic pen. The thing is, is I am not. The, the main thing that I'm looking for in any pen are just really, you know, confident and solid lines. And so that's what my slow angled line test is for. And this isn't horrible, but there's more wave here than it feels like there was in older versions of XP Pen's products. At least to me, I feel like I'm getting a little bit more wobble here. And it's probably hard to see on the screen, but it's kind of a mechanical wobble. And, and I can tell because I've used a lot of these things. And I think if you do a lot of inking it, you will see it too. That's just not the strength of what XP Pen is doing. And, and I think that is the one weakness of XP Pen's uh, newest products compared to what Huion and Wacom have been doing. But everything else about this pen actually is really good. You know, like if I'm gonna come in here and draw my fast lines, I get a really good taper. I'm not getting like check marking at the back end as I'm moving fast or anything like that. So all of the little things that they needed to nail uh, other than that wiggle is is looking pretty good. The one thing I will notice and you'll probably see me doing it here is uh, If I haven't used the tablet for like a minute or so and I jump back and I start drawing Sometimes if I'm using Bluetooth, it seems to take a second to register that first line But then those next lines that I do register right away So it's almost like it needs to kind of wake up the tablet in its Bluetooth state before it starts drawing 
It's not a huge deal, but it's something to be aware of and you might see some lag while I'm drawing. I use the pressure sensitivity mainly for, you know, changing my line width, but you could also, you know, change the actual opacity of your brush and that sort of thing with this as well. I mentioned the shortcut keys earlier. I've already mapped them to what I want them to be. Here's a, here's a quick peek of our settings when we have the deco plugged in. One, I can choose the work area. So if you have multiple monitors, you could say, I want this to be on this monitor, that monitor, or spreading across both monitors. In here, we have the pen settings themselves. So you can change the pressure uh, curve on there if you'd like it to be a little bit different. I'm gonna go over to my shortcut keys. Uh, I'm just using these universally now and, and I have it set up. So you can go into any of these things and customize it to your heart's content. So I can come in here and say customize. Right now, it's set to undo. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm gonna keep it there. And of course, down here, it just has your battery level and tells you where you're at if you're using this in Bluetooth mode. I just wanted to get in here, do a quick demo, show you guys you know, what comes in the box and what this is all about. If you have any questions about it, let me know down below in the comments. Thank you all for watching, and I'll talk to you in a couple of days.